here. We're just on a different side of the gym today. You know, we on the tread. I've got a steep incline on this thing at about seven. Not too crazy, but it definitely get you that, that work that you're looking for in terms of them legs. I tell you that. So, as usual, I gotta start off the same way. And I gotta ask where you at. Where are you at with your conditioning, with your health? I say it every time I get in here. I tell, I tell you, all you need is 30 minutes, moderate exercise. Did you get your 30 a day? Huh? Do you need me to help you out? I don't mind. We can definitely work out together. Because all you need is about 30 minutes of moderate exercise. No matter what you do, okay? It could be walking. It could be jogging. Jump a rope, doing yoga, whatever. Don't even have to be 30 minutes straight. It could be a 10 minute intervals. So long as you're doing the other work on the other side of it, which is drinking your water daily. Get at least 64 ounces. 128 ounces is one gallon. Every body could use one gallon of water, but if you can't make it to one gallon, do 64 ounces. The way you reach that, you drink a bottle of water when you wake up in the morning, you drink a bottle with breakfast, you drink a bottle with lunch, and you finish your dinner with a bottle of water. You count it all up, that's 64 ounces. It's half a gallon. That's at least the minimum you should be doing. And when you eat, add some more fruits and vegetables. Some carbs, some fibrous carbs, is what I'm trying to say, to your diet, because that'll help you overall in terms of your health and your conditioning when you couple that with coming to this gym. And that's kind of where I want to start. I want to talk about pivoting, right? So in the business sense, pivoting is when you change strategies in order to meet the current market conditions. So, best example I can give you is the pandemic. Everybody pivoted, you hear me? Everybody had to go home. We all had to work virtually. And we still doing that. Things are a lot better, obviously, but that was a major pivot. Now, it doesn't take for conditions like a pandemic to happen for a pivot to occur. It could just be you were in an aging population and you want to service a different client. And so you decide to change the target demographic. But that's just in the business sense. I say that because everybody can pivot. Everybody can look at their life and see that they're not strategically aligned with where they're trying to go. And when you recognize you're not strategically aligned with where you're trying to go, you have to pivot. You have to see that those same conversations you were having before are not working. You have to see that the habits that you had that weren't being fruitful for you are no longer necessary. And you have to change. It doesn't have to be at a moment's notice, but you have to change. And the quicker you respond to changes around you end up understanding that they're not conducive to the success you're trying to reach, the better it is for you because it won't be as challenging. See, the hardest part about life is continuing with the same patterns because that's comfort. Comfort is hard. Change is hard, right? So you really still gotta choose your heart. And you gotta decide if the things that you're indulging in at the moment are still worthwhile and again, are conducive to your success. So you have to pivot. And you cannot be afraid of what's to come with the pivot because again, you've already realized that whatever you're doing right now isn't serving its purpose. It's not strategically getting you where you're trying to go. And in this life, you have to be intentional about what you want. When you set goals and you put conditions on those goals, you know, times and things like that, or even individuals that will be involved in those goals. That's strategic, right? So, if you carry that same thought pattern over to every facet of your life, including the relationships and the people you deal with, you can effectively pivot. It doesn't take much to change 
your circumstance in life, if you put the work behind changing it, right? And noticing that what are you doing, what you're doing currently, no longer serves its purpose, and that you'd be better served doing something totally different. And it may be, and it may be something that you totally, you've never imagined. But again, when you decide the destination, you gotta also decide the path. And so you come to that fork in the road, for your whole life you've been going straight, it might be time to detour. It's okay to pivot. Because like they say in chess moves, make your next move your best move. Thanks for watching Gems and Gems.